In my past work, we've looked a lot at how people's emotional responses are useful predictors across time uh, in terms of predicting responses to terrorism and uh, policy preferences regarding terrorism. And that's part of a broader body of work in which we find very often that emotional rea reactions actually happen to have more predictive power than people's attitudes in terms of driving ultimate behavior. That there is something very uh, powerful about a feeling um, that directly links to behavior. And it has to do in large part with the underlying neural circuitry and um, how close emotion neural circuitry is to motor activity and actual behavior.